So Kyrie Walker saw my video about him and uh, he called me a hater. When you make a video about someone on the internet, like a famous athlete or a famous celebrity, even like a famous YouTuber, there is a good chance that okay. person could see that video, whether it's intentional or not. For example, if I make a video talking about LeBron James and I say, oh, LeBron's this or that, there is a probably a one in a million chance that he actually sees it, but there's still a chance. Just like when I made that video about Kyrie Walker, I didn't really think he would see it, but I always knew that there was a very good chance he would see it. And if I say something in a video about a certain person, I'm not afraid to admit it. If I make a mistake or I have a bad take, I am not afraid to admit, yeah, that was a bad take and I shouldn't have said that. I know just about every single one of you that are watching this video are like what are you talking about so essentially earlier today i got a notification from youtube studio saying that someone by the name of Kyrie walker one commented on my video saying you sound like a hater lol and i was like eh whatever cool it's probably just like a Kyrie walker super fan whatever right and i don't know why i decided to do this but for some reason i decided to click on the channel if you click on the channel you can see that there's some live streams of him playing 2k and you see they have a couple thousand views and i'm thinking hmm that's a little strange then i go to his twitter and i see his twitter handle is Kyrie walker one and i'm thinking oh wait no don't tell me so i go to his instagram guess what his handle is Kyrie walker one and if you don't believe that you can go to the youtube check out one of the streams and you can clearly see Kyrie walker in the little face cam so yeah that is the actual Kyrie walker himself the same one that went on draft to the same one i made a video about now most people in my situation when like that person they talked about like responds to the video they're like oh i gotta make a video talking about it and take everything back and i gotta apologize and that's not what i'm here to do believe it or not as i said earlier in the video if i say something about a certain person and they end up commenting i'm not afraid to speak my opinion if i put a video on the internet i'm putting that video out for a reason now if you check most of your stats when it comes to youtube studio you can see that there's a certain amount of watch time that people watch for your videos for example let's say the video i just uploaded let's say it has about two minutes of watch time well the video is not two minutes the video is around five to eight to maybe even ten minutes you mean to tell me that you watched about 33 percent of this video and you think that you know everything about the situation let me make something very clear real quick for those of you that don't know i am a huge arizona state university fan they're my favorite college they're obviously my favorite teams blah 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 blah. when Kyrie walker committed to them i can't remember when it was but when he did commit i was a huge supporter i was like awesome we're getting Kyrie walker i've watched him in high school i watched him on ball was live and stuff like that i was so excited to see him and even when he did decommit i was like damn that sucks but still wherever he goes i'm still gonna support him so yeah i don't hate Kyrie walker and i do not prey on his downfall and i don't want him to not succeed in all this other stuff and for future reference when your favorite youtuber makes a video about a certain person like if i make a video about lebron saying this is and that that doesn't mean we hate that athlete or we hate that person i criticized Kyrie walker in that video because i felt like the route he took wasn't exactly an easy one and he shouldn't have been surprised that he went undrafted now like i also said in this video i will admit when i'm wrong and i'm here today to admit something i said wrong in the video i did say that there was a rumor about Kyrie walking working out with 10 teams and that i said that it was complete bs well i saw that as soon as i was making the video and during that editing process so i didn't look into the situation and see oh is this real is this actually true i just like damn now granted going from a twitter source probably wasn't the best move especially when it's not a verified account and i have learned from that and for now on i've only been using credible sources for certain videos but hey you live and you learn if you were one of the two people that fully watched the video you would you would see that i did say yeah there's a really good chance that Kyrie walker does end up getting invited to the summer league now i think for social media and publicity stuff reasons Kyrie walker might get an nba contract for like a summer league or something but that's about it maybe even the g league so yeah i had a pretty good feeling that would happen and i will say i was kind of being a dick on certain points however like when i was talking about that he was like all dressed up in a suit and tie that's just me being a dick i'm not gonna lie i'm kind of a dick and i can understand it maybe seeing like oh i'm a hater but i'll make this promise right now and i will show proof when this does happen if Kyrie walker makes past the 10 day contract and his jersey is up for sale yeah i'll buy a Kyrie walker jersey shit i might even frame it above my bedroom and i actually did learn about i think it's called chameleon bx not cameo bx that actually gilbert arenas does work with them a lot and i think he's like one of like the founders or something like that whatever and we obviously know that gilbert arenas is a wizards legend so there's a good chance that he did pull some strings and that maybe he got a workout with them and obviously it did seem like the washington wizards were impressed because he got a 10-day contract oh and trust me as soon as that happened all the news broke out i got a million comments reminding me that i had a terrible take and that it, it aged poorly now he was going to end up playing in the summer league but unfortunately there was some i can't really say the word i'll put it on the screen though and um yeah that's why he couldn't play because there was something going on with the team and i think he tested negative but someone on the team tested positive i'm not entirely 
sure, but essentially, yeah, they did not play a single summer league game. I'm not entirely sure about the rule about 10 day contracts, but I believe you can only offer someone two 10 day contracts, and then after that, you'd have to sign them or cut them. So, honestly, yeah, I can't wait to see if Kyrie Walker does get signed to the Wizards. Awesome, great. If he doesn't, well, damn, that sucks, but he's definitely going to have other options. Now, before I end this video, I just want to end off on a couple things, obviously. Obviously, I'm not a Kyrie Walker hater, never claimed I was, and uh, yeah, you're going to get called a hater if you critique someone on the internet, so I kind of knew that, and I really don't get phased by those types of comments. And when Kyrie Walker commenting on the video and like acknowledging the video yeah i don't know how much of it he watched i'm not sure if he actually sat down and watched the full nine minute video but if he did awesome if he didn't cool whatever when i saw the news i thought it was cool but i didn't get phased and i'm not gonna get phased just because he saw the video and called me a hate or whatever i have no hate towards Kyrie walker and i don't want any beef or anything. i don't think that's gonna happen i don't want it to happen whatever but yeah i'm rooting for him obviously and when he saw it cool but i'm not gonna take back everything i've said like i've seen those videos of the people doing like public interviews with, like athletes and stuff like that but when they find out it's the athlete they end up switching up and pretending that they didn't say what they just said but i'm not gonna be like that everything i said in that video i meant yeah i said some things like a dick and obviously i'm not exactly proud of being like that but everything i said i meant so with that being said if you guys did enjoy the video make sure you do leave a like on the video subscribe to the channel if you're new turn on post notifications if you do want to see Kyrie walker's channel i guess i'll put that in the link in the description below i'll see you guys in the next video have an amazing day take care peace if you guys have made it to the end of the video here are two videos on the screen that i think you guys will like also if you do want to see more nba content check out my tiktok it's at specs media anyways cue the outro